Good morning, guys. How are you? Today is Thursday, April the 23rd. It's reading time. The class is about writing a text or completing a text. And also, we are going to be learning about connectors like and and like but okay so the connectors are words that combine two ideas okay for example if i say the boy likes apples apples is one idea but not also apples, he also likes bananas. So he likes apples, idea one, and bananas, ideas two. So we are going to put them together and use the word and. So we're going to say, the boy likes apples and bananas. Okay, now another connector is but. This is used to connect two ideas, but one positive and one negative. For example, the girl likes pizza, but... She doesn't like hamburgers. So we we have two ideas, pizza and hamburgers. But the first sentence is she, that she likes something in positive. And the second sentence is that she doesn't like something. So this sentence is in positive and the other one is in negative. So instead of saying she likes pizza, she doesn't like hamburgers, we put the two sentences together, we connect them with but, and we say, she likes pizza, but she doesn't like hamburgers, okay? So we are going to make some exercises so you can understand more about Connectors. Well, here we have the first exercise using but. Okay, so we have two pictures of the same girl. Here she's eating an apple and he she's not eating an apple why look at her face because she doesn't like a, a oranges she likes apples look at her happy face okay here we have two sentences she likes apples this sentence is in positive likes is in positive and the second sentence she doesn't like oranges see this is negative, doesn't, no, no lie. So we have positive sentence and negative sentence. So we are going to make only one sentence, one, one sentence out of these two. So we are going to say, she likes apples and drop the, the period. Can you see the period over here? Drop it and put a comma. A comma like this. This is a comma. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to erase these two. No, we are going to use this. And I need my connector, but. It's going to say, she likes apples, but she doesn't like oranges. Okay? Let's see it. Let's see the answer.
There we have the answer. She likes apples, but we're using but for contrast. She doesn't like oranges. Now the second exercise, the second picture. It's a boy. Look at her, his tongue. He likes salad because this is a salad. How about French fries? No, he doesn't like French fries. So we are going to use the connector but to make a contrast. Because this is a positive, this sentence is a positive, like is a positive verb, and doesn't like is a negative verb. So we are going to make one big sentence, connecting sentence number one with sentence number two, using the word but, okay? We are going to use the word but. So we are going to drop the, 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 the period, there was a period here, and then I have to write a comma, a comma. And then I use my word, but. See, he likes salad, but. Ahí viene el pero. He doesn't like french fries. So out of these two sentences, we make one sentence, one sentence. So let's see what is the answer. Let's see if we are correct. ta -da! Yeah! Here we have. He likes salad, but he doesn't like french fries. Here. So, now, let's continue with the next exercise. This exercise is with the connector and. We are going to be using and. See, we are going to connect two sentences. For example, here, sentence one, he has a cat, and we can see a boy with a cat. With the other sentence, this second sentence says, he has a dog. Here is the dog. These two animals are his. Okay, so out of these two sentences, we are going to make only one sentence. We are going to erase this, this, he has, he has, and we are going to replace it with and. So it's going to say, he has a cat and a dog. Because cat is an idea that is the same, is same with dog. See, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. There it is. So this disappear. He has a cat and a dog. Now, let's talk about the girl. Look at her teddy bear. She likes teddy bears, obviously. And what, what, what else does she like? Dolls, because she's a girl. So instead of saying she likes teddy bears, she likes dolls, we are going to make only one, one sentence, okay? So we are going to connect the two sentences, sentence one and sentence two. We are going to connect it with and, okay? We are going to connect it with and. So here, we are going to say, she likes teddy bears and erase this. We are going to erase this and use and, and dolls. So this is going to disappear to make one big sentence. Let's see if this is, if it's correct. Oh, there we have, there we have, we have she likes teddy bears and dolls. So these two sentences transform into only one sentence with the connector and, okay? The other sentence is the same, the connector and, okay? So this is how we use connectors 
Mm -hmm. I'm going just to review how the two connectors is and is to com combine two ideas that are the same. For example, apples and bananas. Okay, the idea that he likes apples and the other idea he likes bananas is the same idea. Okay, now the other one with but is to combine two ideas that are different. For example, she likes pizza. This is different from she doesn't like hamburger. See, the idea of liking pizza is different from doesn't like hamburgers, okay? And then it's when we use the connector but. Okay, I'm going to make a pause to continue with the other exercise, okay? This is the practice book and exercise one is telling us to read each sentence and circle the connectors, okay? Which one are the connectors? And but okay it's piece of cake so we have number one look and look at the girl oh she's a beautiful girl we have number one it says the dog has fur for his hair for dogs okay his hair but for dogs we say fur and a tail he moves his tail when he is happy Okay, so do, here we have idea number one is fur and idea number two is tail. So they are the same. See, the dog has these two things, fur and tail. It doesn't, it's not opposite. It's the same. So that's why we are using the connector. So what is the connector? And... So we are going to circle and very good. Now, number two, we are going to read number two. He likes red, but he doesn't like blue. Did you notice the sentence is in positive? And this is a negative. So these are two ideas, red and blue, that are different, opposite. That's why we, we use the connector, but. So we are going to circle the connector in number two, okay? My connector is but. Very good. So it reads, repeat after me. He likes red, but he doesn't like blue. Okay. Now let's go to sentence number three. It says, she's wearing shoes, but she isn't wearing a jacket. Okay, did you notice the connector here in sentence number three? It's connector but. Why it's but? Because I have two ideas, shoes and jacket opposite. Because she likes wearing shoes, but she doesn't like wearing jacket. She gets hot. Okay, that's why we the, we use the connector but we circle it okay so let's go with sentence number four it says they go sledding this is one activity and it's in positive but see they don't go swimming this is another activity oh Positive to go sledding. My first sentence is positive and my second sentence is negative. That's why we use the connector but. 
So we are going to circle the connector box, okay? Now let's go with number five. Mm -hmm. It says she likes ice cream and cookies. Did you notice the connector? And yeah, because this idea, ice cream, is the same with cookies. This second idea, they are the same. They are not different because the girl likes this one and this one. That's why we use and to connect the two ideas. So we are going to circle and repeat after me. She likes ice cream and cookies. Very good. So let's read sentence number six. It, I'm wearing a watch and a bracelet. Okay. Did you notice the connector and? Did you notice the connector and? Why? Because this idea, watch, and the second idea, bracelet, are the same. See? I am wearing a watch and a bracelet. Okay? It's not opposite. The two ideas, they are the same. Okay? So, we are going to circle and there we have now let's watch this the following girl in this exercise look i pointed his hat see read hat read scarf and this what is this dress and what is this sandals she's wearing repeat she's wearing sandals a dress a scarf and a hat okay very good so we are going to resolve number one here the first sentence she's wearing what from this from this arrows what is she wearing she's wearing the dress scarf a hat and sandals but here is referring to hat and scarf no i mean a dress and a hat so we are going to write she's wearing a dress uh oh it's missing a a dress and then we cross a dress and what else what's on top of her head a hat very good very good and we use the connector and so now let's go with the second one the second one reads she's wearing wearing uh oh we didn't erase hat so we have to cross it we use it already so we have number two she is wearing what is she wearing bracelets is she wearing a scarf what is the first sentence in positive bracelet that she's not wearing or scarf scarf a scarf my first sentence here has to be in positive we are going to write what she is wearing in a positive way a scarf okay and we cross it okay she's wearing a, a scarf can you see this connector the connector but okay very good so this is indicating this connector that my second sentence is going to be negative okay in negative okay how do we write the negative of wearing mm, do you remember the last exercise here in negative wearing 
isn't wearing. Okay, we can use this one. But first we need a pronoun. We're talking about this girl. We're talking about the pronoun she. Okay, so we are going to write isn't or is not isn't and now here I'm going to write the word wearing okay so she's not wearing what look no bracelet so that's the opposite we are going to write uh no no a bracelet bracelets in plural brace we got it okay repeat after me she's wearing a scarf but she isn't wearing bracelets there you can see just a scarf no bracelets. Okay, this sentence was using this connector but to make a contrast. Mm -hmm. So let's do the last one, number three. Okay, let's do number three. It says, uh oh, it's nothing at the beginning. Ooh, somebody stole the beginning of the sentence, the subject, and the verb. Where is the subject and where is the verb? We have to put it. We have to write. What are we going to write? About the girl, about she, and my first verb, and my second verb. So I am going to copy from here. She's wearing, she's wearing, it goes here too. So I am going to write, she's wearing sandals, and you can see the sandals. And I need a connector here. What would it be the connector? Would it be and? Or would it be but? Let's see, this sentence is in positive and the other sentence is in negative. So we are going to use but. Okay? So here we have but. So let's read the sentence. Repeat after me. She's wearing sandals, but. She isn't wearing socks. Can you see? No socks. No socks. So we have our three sentences and we use the correct connectors. But and and. Very good. So I'm going to make a small pause. So guys... The class of today was about connectors and writing time. You wrote many sentences. So I'm going to put just uh, some examples about me so you can watch me. I am wearing glasses and, and uniform. Now I am going to use the the connector but to make a contrast between something that I am wearing and something that I am not wearing, okay? I am wearing glasses, but I am not wearing a hat. See, no hat, okay? So I'm going to say another example. I am wearing earrings, and a watch. Can you see my watch? Now I'm going to make it another example with but. Okay. For example, about what I like. I like 
going to the movies, but I don't like to go downtown. See? I don't like going shopping downtown. So that's those are two examples, more examples. In the class after this finish, in the virtual class, we are going to be, be making questions about you personally. So we are going to finish the class for today is all. And see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.